Behold, days are coming when I will return the captivity of my people Israel, and they will build cities, and they will settle, and they will plant vineyards and drink from their wine. I will place them on their land, and they will not be removed ever again. Zionism, our uh, national movement of return, to return to our land, is all based on our history, on the Bible, on the area that our fathers walked. Living here in the Sharon, we are fulfilling the prophecy, we are living out the essence of Zionism. I think the most inspiring thing is to look around you and you feel like you're a part of the Jewish story. Every piece of land, everywhere you walk, history comes alive. Behind me, is where the tabernacle stood for almost 400 years. Breathing this air and standing on this land, you feel the connection, not only to your father and his father before him, but all the way back throughout Jewish history. Shechem, Shiloh, Bethel, Jerusalem, Hebron, Bethlehem, all of the activities in the Bible all occurred here in, in the Shamron and in Judea. I live up on this top hill on the left uh, house. And the most amazing story is that when we came to live and we started to dig and build the house, we found many ancient broken pieces of, uh, of dishes, of clay, from the time that the people of Israel used to come three times a year to visit the tabernacle in Shiloh. We thought we are the first to be here, and suddenly we found out that 3,000 years ago, hundreds of thousands of Jews, our ancestors, were coming here three times a year spreading all over those mountain tops and eating the sacrifice. The beauty of the Shomron is unparalleled. The fusion of nature and urban, city and natural comes together in ways almost unseen in all of Israel. In the hills of Samaria, we are not only at this moment in time, but we're transcending it all together. The authentic Jewish life has always been connected to agriculture, always connected to the land of Israel. And now as the Jews are now settling these hills of Samaria, there are over 1,000 dunams of olive trees, of vineyards that are now producing fruits for the first time in 2,000 years. Making wine today, there's no difference making wine today than the same way that Noach made wine, or Avram Avinu made wine, or Rashi made wine. We take natural grapes for wine. After fermentation, it turns into alcohol, and there is nothing new. We do the same thing here like we did thousands of years ago. When looking at the terrain of Samaria, you'll see a ton of rocks and boulders, and then from these dry, barren rocks, trees, vegetation, flowers, beauty, all of the earth is now coming to life again. As a non-Jew, the reason why it's uh, so important for me to be here in the hills of Samaria is because uh, so much of, um, of this land has a history behind it. So much of the uh, biblical prophecy is fulfilled uh, all around us, and it's just amazing to take part of it and to support the, the Jewish people uh, in what we're doing here. Samaria is home to over 80 cities and communities with more than 100 educational institutions, a world-class university in Ariel, boutique wineries, organic and conventional farms, a wide range of industries, and a cross-section of professionals that represent the best in Israel today. We are the In the Ariel University Center, we have 24 academic departments in four faculties, from secular to non-secular, for Arab students to Jewish students, the 12,000 students are coming from all the parts of Israel. Only 15%, one five, are coming from Somalia and Judea. I'm the dean of the Faculty of Engineering, and I'm responsible to this monster. This machine is a free electron laser. This is the only machine in Israel, and the only one in the Middle East. The mood here in the campus is very, very good. Students very, very like to study here. They like the, their teachers, and also they like the science. The 
foundation of Judaism has always been education. In almost every community in the Shamron, there are institutions that are teaching boys, girls, men, women, academic, higher Torah education. It's important for people to realize that in our communities, the so-called Jewish settlements in the Samaria, represent all parts of Israeli society. Actually, the majority of the residents in the Shimon region are secular Israelis. Everything about uh, Samaria was special for us. We are non-religious people, yet we came because we wanted uh, to change our place of living. We wanted a place that we can uh, teach our children the, um, the Jewish heritage, to teach them about uh, Israel, about uh, the right place to live in. That's a great part of Zionism, of our national unity, all being together here and settling the land of Israel. Understanding the strategic importance of Samaria is key. Only 44 miles separate between the Jordan Valley and the Mediterranean Sea. Samaria is also a mountain ridge that reaches over 3,000 feet high and dominates Israel's coastal cities, where 70% of its population, 80% of Israel's industry, and all of its airfields and seaports are located. If Israel were to withdraw from Samaria, the country's width would be narrowed to a mere nine miles, which all analysts say is indefensible borders. Samaria, where Jewish history meets Jewish destiny, where biblical prophecy meets reality, where the Jewish people became a nation again.